Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Dominic, I'm the host of The Android Factor. Last episode we went ahead and completed linting and testing on pull request open into our main branch. If you miss it, go ahead and check it out. And in today's episode here, we're going to, well, it's gonna be a two-part episode, so stick around for the whole thing, but we're going to start down the road of automatically distributing our Android builds to Firebase. We are again, of course, using GitHub Actions. We're gonna use a very popular action out there in the marketplace. I'll talk you through how to set up everything that we need to do from zero to one to get this working. If that sounds good, smash the like button, subscribe if you are brand new, and let's go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, so I'm gonna flip between both of these here. We have the Firebase app distribution app in the GitHub Actions marketplace, and then we also just have the uh, you know corresponding GitHub repo to you know kind of look along to it. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and flip all the way down to the bottom to get into the guts of how this works, right? In some particular job, we're gonna check out our code base, we'll set up Java, we will go ahead and build our uh, artifact, right? Make our ap application APK or AAB, and then we're gonna go ahead and run the this down here, right? So we're going to use this Waziba Firebase Distribution GitHub action, and we basically pass in a couple different pieces of information here uh, to actually enable the runner in GitHub action to upload a specific artifact to a specific Firebase project, and therefore we have now distributed our build. If we take a look at these first two items here, the app ID and the service credentials file content, we have to configure our environment a little bit here. The first one, the app ID is very straightforward. I'll show you in a second. And the second one here, the uh, service credentials file is basically setting up a service account using a JSON key that we've kind of set up inside of our Google Cloud project. So I know that might sound a little bit crazy, but it's actually really not. I'll walk you through all of it, have no fear. As I mentioned here, the app ID is very straightforward. Let me show you where that exists inside of your Firebase project. Now, I'm not gonna show you how to set up Firebase. You can search around on the channel for some content uh, about how to do that. But once you have your project connected up in Firebase, uh, you can go ahead and open up the project settings here. And right here, we have our project ID. Uh, really straightforward, very simple. That is basically this uh, key here that we need to Put in so that's not a big deal here and instead like i mentioned the service account one is a little bit more intense so we're going to set that up in today's episode and then in the next episode we are going to connect up all the dots and actually run everything cool let's just jump right into it here i'm going to flip over to this documentation here where it says use this file here instead and learn how to generate one and this documentation here on this wiki really kind of shows you how to do everything uh, it's pretty straightforward it's not super complicated, so we're gonna go ahead and just walk through this. I've done this before, so I'm not gonna loop through the entire documentation. Uh, maybe I'll reference it if I forget something, but otherwise here, we are just gonna go to the uh, Google Cloud, uh, just type in Google Cloud. We're gonna go to GCP, Google Cloud Platform. Once you're here, assuming you're signed in, we will go to the console. At this point here, if you are not selected, you know, if you do not have your project properly selected, you can go ahead and make sure that you have selected it. This is the same project that we have set up here in GitHub and Firebase. Your page might look a little bit different here. Yeah, maybe you can kind of see it from the side. We're gonna go into the IAM and admin here. We're gonna open up the service accounts option here, and we're going to go ahead and create a new service account. I think this was created when I created the Firebase project, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but anyway, we're gonna go ahead and create a new service account gonna give it a particular name. You could really name it whatever it is you want. I'm gonna go with the Firebase distributor. Description here is not necessary, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in anyway for best practices, right? Enables GitHub Actions to upload to Firebase app distribution. We're gonna go ahead and create and continue. And then in here, this is the most important part, right? We need to select the proper role. And the proper role here uh, that we're looking for has to do with the Firebase. Yep, here it is, Firebase app distribution admin full read write access to Firebase app distribution resources. So we're gonna go ahead and select that role. And at that point, we're gonna hit continue. If you wanted to have multiple roles for some reason on the service account, you can just go ahead and add more in, but this is all we need. We're gonna go ahead and click done. And now this one here, the Firebase distributor service account is what we've just created. We now are gonna go into here and click on manage keys. We are gonna simply create a new key and we're going to select of type JSON. Once you go ahead and create this, it is now downloaded 
the uh, key to your service account, the private key. I'm not going to open it on camera for obvious reasons, uh, but it is basically a JSON file, right? And if we flip back to our documentation here, let's see, let's see, let's see. Then we're going to go to our GitHub repository, our settings, secret actions, and we're going to create a new secret, name it whatever we want to name it. And then we're going to paste the content of the file that we just downloaded into that secret. So bouncing over here to our GitHub Actions, we can go over to the settings, we can scroll down on the left and select Actions. We don't have any secrets set up at the moment. So we're going to add in a new repository secret. Just going to copy and paste the name of this, a credential file content, because uh, you know we're just following the documentation here, right? And then you're going to have to paste in information from the file uh, here. Once you do that, you're going to go ahead and click Add Secret. I'll show you that right now. Um, obviously, that is not the correct information underneath the content, uh, underneath that secret, but I'm just going to go ahead and update this value off camera with what I downloaded from that file. All right, well, I'll at least show you this here, right? This is the, at least the structure of the file. I've gone ahead and obfuscated away some critical information. The one thing that we care for here that you know you're doing it right uh, is the private key value. You're going to have this very odd looking information that says begin private key, a very long key, and then end private key. And it just kind of feels a little clunky that you would actually have that as part of the value of the key. But hey, it is what it is. So closing that here, I went ahead and updated this just a minute ago uh, with the content of the actual file. And now we are all set up. And because it is named this, the credential file content, right? When we have our GitHub action and we go ahead and call this out, the GitHub environment will actually have that information pulled from the repository secret. So we don't actually need to have that anywhere but inside of GitHub. So a super secure way to kind of, you know, maintain some secret credentials, some secret information, whatever the case is. Um, and that's basically about it. So perfect. We have everything that we need here. It's a little bit shorter. If you made it this far in the video, I'd really appreciate a like. Uh, subscribe if you're brand new. The next video coming out is going to show us how to wire this all up and actually manually deploy builds to our app distribution inside of Firebase. Appreciate you all. Let me know in the comments how I'm doing. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.